Okay, so we are going to introduce to you guys two places to eat at ICN that I think is worth the buck. And the first place is called Kao, and it's located in Terminal 1 at the basement. And it is a food court that serves authentic Korean food. Let's check it out. <laughs> Look what I got. Alright, so what I got is the kimchi jeyu. That's a, that's a kimchi pork mix with rice and the sides. And I'm gonna get the little bit of a side menu called kimchi buchujan. <laughs> right, so this is the, the kimchi jeyu that I ordered. The pork, stirred, fried pork plus kimchi. You guys can see the kimchi here. This is kimchi. This is obviously the pork. Mm. The pork is actually, it tastes very good. It's, it's very smooth. It's actually a lot spicier than I expected. Little to no sweetness. It's more on the spicy side. I like it personally as a Korean. So you gotta, you gotta get a piece of kimchi, get a piece of onion, get a piece of pork, all right? Mm. <laughs> It's good. The, the pickled radish. Mm. It's pretty good. And we got the, the, the sweet beans. Mm. Very sweet. When you get like pickled radish or sweet beans, you gotta have it with the rice. Just gonna dig in now. You guys can watch me eat. And then raise my mouth with the soup. Now, you guys thought I was done. Nope. The Korean style pancake. Kimchi pancake. Grass pancake. You see how juicy that looks? You can one bite it if you want. But for me, just so I can enjoy the taste multiple times, I'm gonna rip it in half. But here, we have soy sauce here also. I'll tell you guys how it tastes. All right. Good. Mm. Mm. It's actually not that spicy. This time with the soy sauce. I'm not gonna dip it in all the way, just a little bit. Ready? It's dripping. Mm. Mm. Basically, I'm done. And like I said, if you come down here and you don't know what to get and you want meat, you gotta get this. It's not too spicy, a little bit spicy like I told you before, but it's still definitely worth eating it. The taste is good, the sauce is good, everything is just perfect. Okay, so the second place that we would like to introduce you guys is a restaurant called uh, CJ Food World and it's located right across Kaob restaurant and it serves fusion dishes so let's check it out what is up guys this is Jay from Solo Productions and I'm here at uh, CJ Food World and I decided to get uh, the pho, chili pho, Vietnamese style. So, let's see how it tastes. Oh, Cameraman, zoom in. Should have gone with the Korean staples. Mm. 
It tastes good, but if you're weak, no. Like me? Yeah. Okay. No. I'll let my friend Sean have a try. Okay. It stacks up. Mm. Oh wow. Now you guys know, Jay is a weak sauce. <laughs> it's really good. Don't listen to him, it's actually really good. So, um, I think this is what is what's going to happen. He's going to take about uh, five more sips of the broth and then let's see what happens then. let's go it's stacking up coming the spicy is coming <laughs> it's good though like i'm almost done with your food the spice is coming. What are you drinking? Ah, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. What is up, guys? Back to me. Okay. And I'm here to finish the challenge. Okay? Meat sauce. <laughs> so let's go. Let's do this. Nothing. Nothing. Mm. In Korean, uh, when something tastes really good, we say uh, "baisa." Nowadays, uh, the kids, uh, we say "chun uh, Okay, so we we say JMT. So what would, what I say? What I would say about this is. This is hot. <sighs> Finish. What was it? Okay, so the spicy noodles um, at the Bangkok 9 restaurant. Yeah, it tastes good. But too hot, too hot. So I would not recommend this. I would not. Unless... Unless you enjoy eating spicy food like me. Oh yeah, other than that, uh, please don't try this. This is really, it can kill you. This is hot. So, if you can, oh, I don't, oh. Don't. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, so that's it for today. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Boom, boom.